There's a trend where doctors are listing things they would never do, being subject matter experts in their particular area of expertise. I'm Dr. Ojiger, I'm a pharmacist, and here are things I would never do. I would never take medications without getting genetic testing done. So think of it this way, we're all different, we have different enzymes that break down medications, thus in turn producing a different effect for each person. Each person is different. It's not a one-size-fits-all healthcare. Having these lab results would greatly help physicians and pharmacists like myself to work together in creating the best and most optimized patient therapy for you. I would never store my medications in my kitchen or bathroom cabinets. These areas have a lot of moisture and they'll greatly degrade your medications. Store in a cool, dry place unless it has to be refrigerated, store in the refrigerator. I would never take over the counter vitamins, nutritional products, or dietary supplements without consulting with my pharmacist. Oftentimes, these products interact with your current medications, and just because it's over the counter doesn't mean it's 100% safe. So, always consult with your pharmacist and make sure you're getting the most um, effective treatment for yourself. I would never overuse antibiotics. Now, don't get me wrong, antibiotics are great, but I often see it so overly prescribed, especially in the retail setting. Oftentimes, patients aren't even aware of why they're given an antibiotic. So always make sure you check with your physician and know what the indication is and make sure it's not for something viral such as the flu or common cold. In these cases, it's going to be useless. It's going to provide antibiotic resistance and development of um, superbugs. Also remember to think about the good bacteria that's being depleted in your gut. So take a probiotic with, along with your antibiotic. I would never give up the autonomy to my healthcare. I always encourage my patients to be involved in their decision making, especially when it comes to healthcare. I want you to understand what our reasoning is behind certain therapies, our methods of prescribing, and if they're aligning with your goals and outcomes for your healthcare needs. Make sure that you're getting your answers, um, your questions answered, and that you're being listened to because it's your right, it's your body, and it, in turn, your compliance will eventually lead to success on your end. So ask questions. Comment below. Let me know if you want to hear more and what your thoughts are and my suggestions.